Hi, Kadena Tate from 50shadesofpay.com. I was asked a question today at a networking meeting. What is the fastest way to grow my business? And I said, oh, you're from that microwave generation. You want everything yesterday. And they laughed and I said, okay, in my humble opinion, the fastest way is to speak. Now, speaking can be done online in the form of a webinar, a teleseminar, or a podcast. You can also get interviewed on other people's shows, or you can also speak at live events. They can be your own events or other people's events. But here's the thing about speaking that a lot of people don't like to tell you. You know, there's money that can be made three ways. On the front end, right, in the form of your speaker fee and or the price of admission, at your actual event, if you have digital or physical products and services, and or after the event, if you have coaching and consulting services that you're offering people. So those are the three different ways that you can bring in revenue through speaking. What I'm going to encourage you to do is learn from my mistakes. Don't step over dollars to pick up dimes. Because for many years, I would run around and I'd speak and I thought, yeah, you know, I did a good job. I shared all this fabulous information with people. And then I jumped off the stage and I went home and I really felt proud of myself, literally like Tarzan. I would beat on my chest like, yeah, you know, and uh, one day I spoke at an event and this woman came flying up the minute that I got off stage and she was, you know, sweating profusely and her hair was kind of disheveled. And she said to me, I went to the back and you don't have a book, a tape, a DVD, a CD, nothing. She said, you're such a selfish bitch. I couldn't write fast enough. This is all that I have. And she had this big yellow pad, right, of notes that she had written. The smile left my face. The elation left my body. I literally wanted the ground to open up and swallow me in because this woman cracked my face into a thousand pieces. And what I realized right then and there in that moment, that I had been doing my audience a grave disservice because I never took the time while I was on stage to say, what can I create that would help you when you leave here? Because obviously everyone in the audience can't engage in a coaching relationship. So if you are an author, coach, consultant, speaker, and trainer, and you're running around speaking, and you're sharing all this wonderful information, or perhaps you even have your book in the back, but you don't have any way of that person going deeper, I would really encourage you to sit down and think about what does your client need? Because quite frankly, people will buy your book. We all buy books. I own like 4,000 books. But the question is, do we take action upon what we've learned? So I want to encourage you today to really get clear that it's not about the fastest way. It's about the most helpful, useful, and relevant way. If you're looking for more tips, tools, and strategies on how you can align and merge your creativity with commerce, visit me at 50shadesofpaid.com. Have a beautiful day.